Good morning. So good news is the electrical wiring is all run and complete, but even better news is that it is time for my morning coffee. Now, I did go to boil the kettle inside like a sucker and then figured this would actually be a perfect load test for my new battery system. So for my batteries, I have two 200 amp hour lithium solar king batteries connected in parallel. And that is a whole heap of power. I am running them off this 2000 watt Xantrex inverter, which I absolutely love. And the kettle itself is rated to 1800 to 2200 watts of power. So it's kind of pushing it a little bit. Now these Solar King batteries I sourced in Australia, they're from an Australian distributor and they are kind of like entry level lithium batteries. They're way cheaper than some of the other drop-ins. And I have to say with that, sometimes drop-in batteries get a bit of a bad rap. And the main thing people say that's negative about them isn't to do with their storage capacity. They've got 400 amp hours between them and 400 amp hours lithium is like 600 amp hours with an AGM. So that is so much more power than I've ever had and I'm really excited about that. But the main negative thing people say about the cheaper drop-in lithium batteries is that they don't have as high a C rating and what the C rating means is how much output the batteries can put out in one kind of bigger surge. So for example, if you wanted to run a large appliance like a kettle, if you had say only one of these 200 amp hour batteries, it would not run a 2000 watt inverter because it's got a 1C rating. You would need two of these like I have, and that should be enough to run 2000 watts. So that's the only thing you've got to be careful of if you're going for a cheaper battery. Okay, let's see if it can do this kettle. Inverter's powering on, getting 13 volts, battery's full. Lights come on on the kettle. It's seeing, so you can see the battery level drops. So it's saying 11.9 because there's that drawer on it. And it's saying it's a 1.93 kilowatt load, which is 1,930 watts. Let's see if this kettle starts to boil. I think it's safe to say that that was a complete success, especially seeing how that was really pushing its power limits. Let's see how much of the battery it used. So you can see now that the load is off it, it is down to 12.8 volts. So it lost 0.2 volts for boiling that kettle. And I think that is pretty bloody amazing. Good work, batteries. <laughs> 